guys, welcome to Monday night and back here in my boring old house. Um, it's a sad day because we're not in Disney anymore, but it's a good day because it's the start of the next adventure for whatever we decide to do. So before we, uh, before we get ready to go here, I want to go over some housekeeping. Uh, oh, what did I just do? Made myself way too big. Hang on a minute. There we go. Um, so we have to thank Dean from the Live Place. Um, Dean hosts our show, www.theliveplace.com and Dreamers Empire and the Live Place on YouTube. And guys, I'm using I'm going without my headphones tonight. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, we have uh, my partner channels. Mouse Talk goes live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock. Goes live with me on for sports night on Saturdays at 8 o'clock. We also have Rob Fuzz, who is uh, goes live on Fridays at either 4 or 4.30 with Frankie Friday or Pub Talk. My power channels, my brothers, my partners in crime, the Dis and that crew. Uh, these guys, you guys are going to hear about it all on Wednesday. Love these guys with all my heart. They are true, true, true brothers. Um, makes it, it made it really hard to come home. It really did. So we have the Shep family who's in here, guys. If you have not subscribed to the Shep family, first off, I don't know what you're doing. Second off, please go subscribe to him. He's in the chat. Um, make sure you go subscribe to him. He is only 14 away from 700 subs. Please let's get him to a thousand as well. Um, and then we have Zippity Doodad and Brandy and Dave, all great channels. Like I said, really, really close. And this trip was such an epic trip that just solidified our, our brotherhood that we have. So you'll find out about all that on Wednesday. Also, my other power channel, Disney Dan, met Disney Dan down there in uh, Florida as well. Just an incredible guy. Uh, make sure you go check them all out. All the links are in the description below. Okay, let's see who we have in the chat right now. We have uh, Rachel Susog, Mary Murray, Andrew Bidding, Jack Sandy Claus Logan, Pam Spam, Noah the Disney World Fan 16, Detroit Disney Duo, Lorena Zapata, Karen Cook, um, the Shep family himself. And Practically Perfect Park Hopping, Josh, what's up, buddy? Guys, if you don't know, Practically Perfect Park Hopping, uh, he hung out with us a lot most of the days, and he's just an incredible guy. Um, he, he, we consider him a brother as well. So make sure you go check out Practically Perfect Park Hopping. Um, we have David Stevens, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Um, I see Amy with, Amy with AJC Magic TV is here. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, it just jumped really far. And I missed half of you. I'm sorry. Meg with Mickey's Magic. Rob Fuzz. What's up, buddy? Dreamer Deborah. Dreamers Empire Dean. Thank you, buddy, for being here. Preston McDevitt. Pete McDevitt. Um, Kay Atwood. I'm going reverse order so it doesn't jump anymore. John Hazleton. John P. Hazleton. What's up, buddy? Joe Smith. Um, now I got to go the other way so it's going to jump again. And LSU Mom. What's up? Dougie. What is up, buddy? Uh, Cricket Fox. Thank you so much for being here. And no way the Disney World fan 16, Rock and Robin, the Do Philly crew. What's up, guys? Marguerite Nagy, Tammy Ibarra, Lady Jamers. I just jumped again. Hang on one second. Gotta go back up. Uh, Joe Pompoli. Uh, no problem, Josh. You're, you're you're good to hang out with, buddy. Uh, Mickey Sidings, Miguel Benitez Jr. What's up, my man? Uh, I think. I miss somebody here. Let me see here. Mickey Sidings. Mr. Gonzo PR. What's up, buddy? Met Mr. Gonzo down in there as well. And two G's. What's up? I think I'm caught up, guys. So if I missed you, I apologize. Instantly have 48 people in here somehow. I have no idea how. Love you guys. Um, and we're, what we're going to do today, we're not going to talk a lot about the trip because we're going to do a big recap on Wednesday at this and that because our trip was meeting each other it was hanging out and oh dougie thanks buddy i'm not sure what currency that is but <laughs> is that is that scottish something but uh what did that say oh button button yes for those of you that don't know while i was down in disney world i didn't even get a review time i just got a notice that said hey you're monetized because of all you wonderful people um that come to watch my shows and watch our distant that shows um it put us over the watch hours that we needed quite a quite a bit too, especially the Wednesday night show we did um, from the boardwalk and the line at Galaxy's Edge. So we thank you guys so much. Uh, David Stevens, this is my Monday night TV. Love your stream. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. And uh, Meg, thank you, Meg. Uh, it happened um, when we were in Disney World. I don't, I don't remember what day. So 
Ross Merrill, what's up, buddy? That's a British pound. That's what it is. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, guys. So we are going to let's see. Dances with Goofy, what's up? Thank you for being here. Brandy and Dave. Brandy, welcome in, Brandy. <laughs> see all the hearts. I know Dave would give me hearts too, but we're going to go with Brandy. Saria Myers, Ronnie Talbot, uh, Kilroy Kaufman. Wow, you guys are just awesome. Um, Ross Merrill, $1.99. See you at the Indie Disney Meetup. What is the Indie Disney Meetup? I don't know about it. But yes, you'll see me if if it's as long as it's not on a Wednesday night uh, when I'm on with my boys at this and that. And okay. All right, guys, you need to stop now, please. Shep, what's up, buddy? Shep is Shep's an amazing person, guys. If you don't know Shep, the Shep family, um, you all know we were all close beforehand, but Shep is as real of a person. Um I, I can't express that guy and what what he means to this and that crew. He's he's incredible, uh, upstanding guy, and I love him to death. So thank you, Shep. Marshmallow Man, uh, oops, ten dollars. Congrats, Steve. Well deserved. Thanks, Marshmallow Man. I met Marshmallow Man too. I'm gonna have to go into all these people that we met because I, I, it was unreal the number of people we met. Love you guys so much. Um, you're just incredible. Cody Hankins, welcome in, buddy. I heard that Disney World is closing the parks at three o'clock tomorrow. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, it wouldn't surprise me depending on where the hurricane goes. Um, yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, Keystone 76, welcome in. And man, this is just, you guys are chatting so much. 59 people. I haven't even got started yet. Hubby has been catching up, watching everyone's videos from the past weekend. You guys had them in stitches and all that. It's awesome. Thank you. Okay, I think we're caught up again. Create fun clubhouse while we'll come in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm just gonna go through a little bit of a, a haul that I got here, and it's not even like stuff I went personally and necessarily bought or got a bunch of stuff, but um, it's all stuff that I collected throughout the uh, throughout the events and, and the people that I met. Some people gave me some stuff which blew my mind, so I figured I'd just show it all with or share it all with you guys. Uh, it is closing tomorrow at three. Okay. And then if we have time, uh, we'll talk about a little bit of the things. I don't want to go into anything that involves the entire Disney Act crew, but I might get, go through some of the meetups that I had before everybody else got there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So, so the first thing I got here, I don't even know where I'm at here. I got stuff everywhere. Is this uh, this nice little, I got to go to the one of the D23 lounges. And um, for the, uh, I'm sorry, the DVC lounges, not D23. DVC lounges, and I got this button that says um, Dream. I've been a member since July of whatever it is, July 3rd, 2019. So that was just a little button I got. It made me feel good because I did, while we were in Disney World, I got my number, my, my DVC number, so I am official. And um, Captain Akron, 27, what's up, buddy? Perfectly Cat, welcome in. Lisa, M-E-V-T-A, thank you for being here. appreciate it. You guys are amazing people. Jim with more sunshine, please. Jim, we'll talk about Jim in a minute too. Actually, we'll probably talk about him on Wednesday. I got to meet Jim. Unfortunately for Jim, he caught me right after the Beverly Challenge. And uh, I couldn't, we'll talk about that on Wednesday, but I couldn't uh, couldn't hang around very long. So had uh, it would have been a pretty sight if I'd have been there too long. But all right, guys. So some other things that I got. I met um, Karen Cook. Karen was an awesome, awesome person. Um, she sent me this card. I don't know if it, I, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Basically she just, you know, thanked us for, uh, bringing some, uh, info laughter and just plain joy to the world. We appreciate you so much, Karen. Thank you so much. And Karen got us all this really cool thing. She said it was an essentials kit and I didn't know what it was. And we got this little bag and, um, I've never even seen these or heard of these, but they do come in handy, especially at Disney world. What's up, Two Real Geeks? And it is a metal straw set with a pipe cleaner for them. So we got these two straight straws and two bent straws. And as you all know, Disney sell or Disney has paper straws that nobody likes. So metal straws, definitely an essential travel item from now on. Thank you so much, Karen. Appreciate it. I did get one thing that I cannot find yet. I think my niece may have taken it with her. And I've got to figure it out where it's at. But um, 
I met the Mickey Bunch as well from um, Kelly with the Mickey Bunch. And she actually got me a, a little thing of, it had four little uh, droids in it. Uh, Steve, I have to say you are the Beverly champ. I was at World of Coke. Yeah, I will not be touching that again. You only made it through two, Danny? <laughs> Buddy, of all that, all that talk you were going to try to beat me, you only made it through two? That's that's impressive. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't know why it makes me laugh, but it does. But we'll talk, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, then uh, what else did I get? So I got some magnets. We went to the Flower and, or Food and Wine Festival. I got my annual pass holder magnet. This is the one. It is this time right now. It is Minnie Mouse. And then, which I didn't know this, but apparently they have some that are, uh, there's also a pass holder magnet going on for like the four, first four days of um, from the 29th to the third or something like that. And it was a limited edition and they ran out. And that is this one. That is the Simba pass holder magnet. So I was unaware that they were limited editions, but I got this one as well. On top of that, sorry, I guess I better be paying attention to the chat as well. Yeah. What's up, Ben? Thank you so much, buddy, for being here. Ben, PTV2. Really appreciate you being here, buddy. I don't know why. Hang on a minute. Oops. Um, congrats, Steve, on I think I got the Beverly Challenge. Proud of my fellow Hoosier. Look, we'll get into the Beverly Challenge in just a minute. I want to go over the rest of the stuff first. Then we'll talk about the Beverly Challenge. Um, one of the other things I did when I went into the, I don't remember, I was in the Animal Kingdom. They asked me about, um, um, donating to the wildlife conservation conservation fund the disney fund and they gave me a button for doing so it's just a it's like a lion if it was oh man this is gonna give me problems focusing all day so there you go oops everything's backwards again because we're on stream labs stream yards what duck you, well, i don't know whatever it is um as we grew oh thanks lsu mom i appreciate that a mouse talk what's up buddy thank you for being here and okay so next up guys i went off by myself one day uh when before the guys got there i think patrick was there but you know he was spending some time with his family and i went by myself over to lion or the animal kingdom and i got this i love doing these little scavenger hunts and they had this one for the lion king they're celebrating the lion king in disney world and have these different things i didn't get a chance to do it but you're supposed to go around the world and find these things and of course on the back are the stickers but all i cared about really is getting it turned in so i get the prizes but it, they stamp it right there when you do it but um so they they have this and they have you some animal facts on the back and everything but you're supposed to go find these animals and, and put stickers on i bought three of them because there were three different things to get um I, and I like collecting the maps and i frame them anyways but the three items that you get are the they're actually magnets but they're wooden magnets so one of them is this simba and they're they're wooden and hand painted come on zoom in all right, zoom in. Well, you can get the idea. So there is, it says Animal Kingdom, it's hand painted with Simba's stuff. On the back is the magnet. So I got the Simba. I got the um, Mufasa and Simba. There we go, that one focused a little better. These are thick pieces of wood. You can see right there, they're off of a cuff of a tree. And then the last one, of course, is Scar which I was really pleased with. So there is Scar. Um, Arving to Disney, what's up? Thank you very much for being here. No no worries. Um, appreciate you being here. While you're here, our, I did get the chance to meet Arving to Disney, and she gave me this New Mexico pin because she said that was her home state, and she gave me a New Mexico pin. So thank you very much, Arving to Disney. Um, I saw somebody else tag me real quick. Ross Merrill, the Indie Disney Meetup is Saturday, September 21st, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's a fundraiser for Give Kids the World. That is awesome. Um, I might be traveling that weekend. Um, I'm not sure yet. So I might be, might be trying, and I guess Dave's back in the chat now. <laughs> I don't see any more emojis, uh, but I might be traveling that weekend. Um, Ross, I'll let you know for sure. Um, Tukumbo Latona TV, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so what else did we get? I'm trying to start to clean this out. We went to, uh, again, I'm not going to go through a bunch of specifics of what we did, but Olga's Cantina, we went to, we got these coasters. 
which I kept on one side has a drink and so it, it, it's hard to see, but it does say Oga's Cantina right there. And then on the other side is a picture of an Ewok. So I collected that because I like collecting um, coasters. And sorry if I'm not upbeat and everything, guys. We're still recovering. It's it's been it's been bittersweet coming home. Obviously, we had the time of our lives down there, and it was it was kind of it was kind of rough to say goodbye and not and actually come back to real life. At the same time, we had no sleep. I, I was I think I was up uh, ten hours of sleep over six days. So worth it completely, but I'm still recovering. So. Um, so then I got to meet Preston and Pete McDevitt and Preston has been giving me a hard time about my belt back here, which is mine, as you can still see. Um, and, but he's such a great kid. I love that kid to death. Uh, he, he sent me a, a, a note, a little note here that says hashtag real belt at the top of it. And it says, dear Mr. Steve, thank you for letting me meet you and hang out with you. Also, thanks for being nice to me and joking around about the belt from Preston McDevitt. But the best part about Preston when I met him is he walks up for the first time. I've never met the kid or Pete but before. Um, I walk up to him and he's wearing a button and it just it made my day. And he's wearing a button, the celebrating button. And his button says, I'm celebrating Steve's world. And he let me keep the button. And it just I don't know. It just meant the world to me. So I kept the button and I'm going to keep it. Thanks, Preston. You're awesome, buddy. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's not plastic. That's right. Is, that, is Kelly here? My, Myers and the Mouse? I missed it. Say, hey, Myers and the Mouse. What's up, buddy? Another great, great family I got to hang out with quite a bit. Andrew Houston, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I think we got everybody. If I missed you guys, keep posting. I'll catch you. I'm sorry. See you, Ben. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so next thing we got, we went to the Halloween party, and uh, we got some special cards. It's a Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card. Um, I collect these things. You've probably seen somewhere along the line, but this year's was the, what is that, one, two, three, four, the Fab, kind of Fab Five minus Pluto plus Daisy. And it's just the, uh, that is the card this year. And it's called the Phantasmal Fireworks Flash. So pretty cool. And uh, that was it this year. Here, but still driving no yeah buddy get be safe definitely be safe um steve are you going to show what i got you i am mike is that okay i haven't made it that far yet so timothy rainwaters what's up buddy um all right these are all pins we'll show those later so i did get some more buttons along the way um i never had a birthday button even though it wasn't my birthday i still got a birthday button just because i want one just said happy birthday steve and they put it there and with the little dots and everything, it's not going to focus, but you kind of get the idea. So I wanted a birthday button, so I got one. Then I got some buttons from um, from my guys and some people I met. So first off, these may not come up because I don't know if I can get these things up to the camera and get them sealed. We got our this and that buttons finally, and we passed a bunch of these out that we had. So there is the this and that button. Got those. Zippity Doodad had a button. My buddy, my brother, zippity doo dad, right there. And then I had one from Brandy and Dave, which maybe. There we go. There's the one from Brandy and Dave. Pretty cool. And then I got one from Josh over at Practically Perfect Park Hopping. It's a little bit bigger, and it's, oops, maybe looks like. Well, I could get the little ones to focus, but not this one. Maybe. Well, you guys get the idea. Practically perfect park hopping. Like I said, he was a great guy. Honored to have met him as well. And we just had, we had a blast with him. So you'll find more about that out on Wednesday. Yeah, those buttons are awesome. 78 people are here. Wow. Thank you guys so much for being here. All right. Next up, we got, we'll save the pins for later. So I met Touring the Galaxy. Great family. Great people. They got this, and I'm, I'm going to wear this on Wednesday, I think. But they got this for me and said, here, wear this on one of your streams one time. But I got this. Let uh, me get the tag off there. Let me move the tag real quick. Um, 
we got this set of ears. Oops, that wasn't the only tag, apparently. Which I, I think were phenomenal. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So you got me this set of ears, <clears throat> Dana and John and Laura. And they are Donald's feet and his tail. So I'll wear them on stream Wednesday probably. So thanks, guys. Appreciate that for them. Um, next up, I met uh, Cargo619. Cargo has been an awesome friend of mine. And she made me a couple shirts, which won't go into detail, but one of those I forgot to wear one day. And I felt really bad for it the day she was leaving and couldn't get back in time. Um, Cargo got carrying those same ears too. That's awesome. So Cargo made me a couple shirts <clears throat> and they are pretty awesome. One is this one, which is, it's got the uh, Sorcerer Mickey on it. She knows I love Sorcerer Mickey and she had enough fabric that she made me this guy here. So I got another Disney shirt. Then I'm running out of room. Then she also made me this one, which I was supposed to wear to match hers on the last day. And I felt really bad. As you should, Stephen, duck feet ears. Yes, for sure. She made me this one. She had some monorail fabric and some this and that stuff she put on there, which was, this is a really cool shirt, I love, which I love both of them. But this one you know, has this and that on it. And my brothers, I, I love them a lot. But this is a really cool this and that shirt she made me. So I got those. Something else I forgot to show you. A Disney life for me. Uh, $5. Congrats on monetization. Thank you. Thanks for all you do and the support you give Miguel and D. Oh, I love you guys, D and Miguel. You guys are incredible. I met D and Miguel too. Guys, I don't know if there's too many people I didn't meet down there. And I don't want to, like I said, we're going to go into it on Wednesday. So I don't want to keep talking about all the people I met. But um, D and Miguel are incredible people. Uh, they came up, hung out with us. I, I, they're just awesome. One of the things I got when I got home, which this really impressed me a lot, was from my niece. My uh, my little niece came out and made me a welcome home poster. Uh, welcome home, Uncle Steve, with stickers and stuff. Made my day when I got home. It made made coming home a little easier than um, than I would have been. But that you know that reminds me of why I gotta come home instead of staying forever. So for now. But yeah, that was uh, that's actually the pride and joy of of everything I got. It made my day. <laughs> Practically perfect par copying. Thank you, buddy. Nine ninety nine says for wind paper. I'm not even gonna go into that story till Wednesday. Not even gonna come close. <laughs> so it just say it involves Shep, and that's all you need to know for now. But uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that so so much for wind paper. <laughs> oh, man, that was just one of about four hundred million epic moments of our trip so yeah and Shep knows exactly what it is so all right guys next up we went to um we spent some time at some uh we went to this piano bar called jelly rolls which i thought was pretty good but uh without going into too many details we got some light cubes that uh they're ice they light up to different colors so i got this and then i got this uh this little glass that says roll with me and it says jelly rolls and then it does something too on the weird like this so it just lights up like that got that though pretty cool logo in my kitchen okay we're starting to get some room here all right next up let's save this so uh patrick and i and his family and donna and our johns which are awesome people amazing as well they they incredibly incredibly took me wherever i wanted to go did whatever we needed to do they were just awesome people but we all went to a dessert party together i got those ice cubes at the brown derby lounge nice i've gotten some of them before at disney world i think i got one at sci-fi or sci-fi diner and some others so i know they have them around but um but yeah so they're, they're pretty cool cubes but we went to the dessert party the star wars dessert party incredible experience we were we were w w only like 23 people in there we got our whole this whole platform to ourselves to watch the fireworks and the uh, world of animation we turned around. There was no, I mean, just thousands of people behind us, it seemed like. And um, it just, I don't know, it was special. Our free gift was this Darth Vader mug. So it's a pretty big mug. The lid comes off. You can either put popcorn or drink or whatever you want in there. But really cool Darth Vader mug. So that is another souvenir we got. Um, then Mike Wheeler, we, we'll talk about that. Again, I'm not going to go into that right now with what happened to that day.
but Mike actually made a special trip down to see us because the Beverly Challenge date had to change due to the wonderful hurricane that uh, sent us all home early. And Mike has gave me a couple buttons too. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of them is uh, this one here, which has a cane, a walking cane, and sunglasses. And the other one is this one that says, "I may be blind, but I can still hear you." And again, we're not going to go into too much details with that for now, but that'll come out on Wednesday. So thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. Uh, Rosie Wren, welcome in. Ray J, what's up, buddy? When did you get home, Steve? Was it tough at the airport? So it wasn't tough at the airport for me to get home. I, I pretty we got we had to get up early. Um, I know Shep, Dave, and I all left within an hour of each other. I think so. It was it was pretty easy for me to get on. Um, I can mail you another one, Steve. Uh, Cat, what are you what are you mailing me? I don't. Sorry. Perfectly, cat. Trying to remember if I gave him the thing I bought him, and I don't think I did. I don't know what it was, Cat. Um, I'm, I'm, as I'm going through things here, I'll let you know if I remember it. So, okay. All righty. Then we got. Um, so then Donna Jaworski got me somewhere here. Oh wait, I got one more thing for for to go. Along with uh, Cargo getting me the those. Um, the shirts cargo also got me a box of maple cookies which i really love told me to share with the guys i offered they denied so i ate them all but uh, miguel uh, zippity doodad is hosting on wednesday so we have this box of maple cookies that, that cargo got me it was awesome she also got me this which they had these a long time ago and i used to love i collect collect all these cards i don't know if i have this one i don't think i do she gave me this wild about safety card, safety tip number 12. And it says, watch over your head. Kind of appropriate because Pumbaa is flying over on a balloon. And we will talk about balloons Wednesday. Um, What's this? Oops, that's not what I didn't bring at home. So I, P. McDevitt sent me I, I was unable to get so star wars land galaxy's edge you got this map this is what we got okay we only went one time i'm not going to go into it there either because there's some adventures there to be to be spoken of it was chaotic the first six hours we'll talk about that all they, they actually filled up the land filled up the park everything shut down weren't letting anybody else in by the afternoon you could pretty much walk into whatever you wanted to walk into no idea we didn't make it that far I was grouchy that day. I was moody. We had no sleep. wasn't wasn't feeling it. wasn't very happy. Um, we'll get, we'll talk about that on Wednesday. But we got this. So this is the map that we got, and it's called a Traveler's Guide. You open it up, and it's got um, so it's got some stuff here like this. It's like a, it's like a decoder system for um, alphabets and things like that. And then on the back, it has a little bit of a you know some Star Wars stuff. But the one thing I didn't get was a map. They don't, I did I, like Juan Rodriguez sent me a map here of uh, the one from the one from uh, Disneyland. So it looked like this and it was embossed. So I didn't get this one, but Pete McDevitt was not kind enough to get me one. <clears throat> and I know Cargo and Cat had actually asked me to pick them up for them too, but I wasn't able to because um, I didn't go back. We it just mind boggling that we had cut our trip short, we didn't go back. But this Pete McDevitt sent to me, and this one is really cool. Um, it's got like you can see the blue here, like it's the 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 Falcons taken off. These are kind of embossed down here. Uh, when you open it up, it's bigger. Hang on. You open it up. It's got <clears throat> some information down here. Galaxy far, far away. These are these were called the Day One maps, from what I understand. So there's information there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then there is the map for Galaxy's Edge and all the stuff that goes with it. And um, actually, that's the map for Hollywood Studios with all everything in it. So it's got the whole thing. So, yeah, Pete was kind enough to get me this map. Um, just made my day. And if you look at them side by side, I already lost the other one. What I do with it? Here it is. Uh, nope, that's not it. Well, I just had it sitting here and I've already lost it. I put it back. 
Oh, there it is. Isn't it crazy when you got something right in front of you and you don't know where it's at? Um, so anyways, this is Disneyland's and this is Disney World's. Pretty cool. I'm glad, uh, like I said, thank you to Ron Rodriguez for this one. Thank you so much, Pete McDevitt, for getting me this one. It was uh, crazy. Um, hey, Janine, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. So when I got back from Hollywood Studios, um, the uh, I'm sorry, when I got back from Disney World, Pete also sent me this because he knows I was collecting these maps. <clears throat> I got this one, this uh, Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary map he sent me as well. And it's uh, he sent this one to me by mail before we left. But this is the it's all the 30th anniversary back from May, May 1st. Oops. Don't want to do that. There we go. It had all the 30th anniversary stuff on it. So I collect these maps from all around the places. And uh, Pete sent me that one, too. So I did not have that one either. So thanks so much, Pete. Appreciate it. Along with that. Um, they yeah, they do look very cool. Um, and, and to be honest with you, I couldn't find the map. I, I looked for the maps when we were there. I gave up because we were just so tired and wanted to go that I didn't even, didn't even think about it. But he was nice enough to uh, he was nice enough to get me one. Then we also have the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party map. Really cool map. It's uh, it's kind of shiny. You can see Mickey and Minnie are shiny, and I think yeah, the Magic Kingdom and some of the candy lane on the ground is also shiny right here. But um, then when you open it up, it has the merchandise on it and some of the other items and stuff to go with it but uh oops, there we go so that's the map for there and then when you open it up it has all the routes of the parades the fireworks and the um all the trick-or-treat stations pretty cool map again i love collecting these and we had this uh which we'll talk about it on Wednesday, but that that cake right there that constance's this one right here is was really good we all had it so there's that map um so we're getting close, guys, here to being done with all the, the stuff, and then we'll just talk. So we got these passports, which I didn't do anything with. I always collect these, though, but uh, we got the festival passports. You open them up, and it has the booths in it, and it tells you – you're supposed to put the stamps and the stickers to where they go. They have the, the booths with the – what you're supposed to – you know, you're supposed to check off what you tried and what you didn't try or what you want to try, all that good stuff. In the very back here, here's all the – there's some stickers that you put on them and everything. So I got these because I just collect these. I don't know why. I just collect all this weird stuff. Um, and then I got uh, this stuff here from Donna Jaworski. So Donna was um, this. Oh, there it is. So Donna, when I got there, I've been I've been waiting to see Donna forever. Donna is such an awesome person. I get there to see Donna, and she hands me this bag, and she says, "You're a DVC member now." welcome home and she hands me this stuff and i thought oh donna that's sweet i open it up and it's all disney vacation club merchandise that um i can get now because i'm a disney vacation club member she picked it up for me so first thing is is this car magnet this disney vacation club member member since and then right here next to this you put the year on there so i got a car magnet to put on and then she got me this Pin that's a Disney Parks collection that you can only buy if you're a pass holder member, or I'm sorry, a Vacation Club member. And that is this Disney Vacation Club member pin, which is pretty cool. Then she also had this four pin set in there, which you could also only buy if you were a Disney Vacation Club member. And it is these pins here. And it has Mickey on an airplane, Mickey with a suitcase. Um, there we go. Then Mickey, um, I don't even know what he's doing on the rest of them. Mickey's sitting on a suitcase and then looking through some binoculars, trying to figure out what he's looking at there. Sorry, you can't get him to focus, but that is the uh, four pins that she gave me. She got me uh, T. Marie Photography. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah, Donna is so – Donna is awesome. Kadani, Sean, what's up, buddy? You've been since 2010. So Shep is the reason why I'm a Disney Vacation Club member. Um a lot of my stories go back to Shep, but I listen to him. So Shep clued me in on how to do it. If you guys, if you guys have any questions for Shep, he's the guy to ask. He's done it both ways, sold, bought, resale, straight through. Um, go check him out. If you have any questions, he'll be glad to help you. And then the this thing here, she got me a list license plate cover, and it says Disney Vacation Club member across the top of it. 
And then the bottom of it's got some Mickeys. And it's got like a Mickey on each side here. Oops, one there and one there. And it's really cool. And this is this is metal. It's pretty durable, strong, really cool license plate cover. Um, so yeah, Don is just Don is just the greatest. And along with that, which I used several times because I did not have, um, Donna got me. Hey, Fantastic Chronicles, thanks. Welcome in. Donna also got me this DVC umbrella that has all the different um, resorts. This is just the cover for it. it has all the different res uh, resorts for DVC on it, and then they're also plastered across this umbrella. So it came in very handy several times. Even saved Corey's hair one day. You'll you'll see that through some vlogs i'm sure as well so actually it was on wednesday while we were streaming all right and i think well that's not all hang on one of the other things i got which patrick brought me some and then i bought some of the other ones we got so you guys knew about our these koozies i've, I've had these for a while just in that koozies on topic off topic patrick brought me these two say this and that i got a black one they're black with white lettering and red lettering and they say the same thing on the back hashtag on topic off topic and then I bought these. Shep had these with him, and I, I sent him some money for these. These are the new Disney koozies that we were selling, which are the blue and orange and the black and red. And they also say hashtag on topic, off topic on the back of them. So I'm stacked up with koozies now. I'm ready to go. And then I think, oh, we got pins to do still two. I think this is the, uh, actually, I believe Shep, Shep or Corey gave me this too. They went to D23. If you guys haven't seen some of the footage from those guys. Zachary, what's up, buddy? Um, if you guys have not seen, uh, yeah, save the hair. Guys, I was Corey's bodyguard for the week. If if the hair was in danger, I was there for him. So 82 people here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. So then Corey or, or Shep gave me this one. I don't know which one it was. But uh, they came from uh, from D23, and it says Forky, Forky asks a question, and it's, it's pretty durable. I'm going to frame it and hang it up. So. Um, pretty cool. I collect all that kind of stuff. The last thing that I purchased um, was a new puzzle, like I needed it. So, got this puzzle of Carl and Ellie. I saw it and I had to have it. And it, I didn't even realize until after I got it home that it's a two-sided puzzle. So, you got the that picture on the front and the back of the puzzle has that picture on it. So, it's going to be a pretty pretty epic puzzle to put together. Um, not knowing which which side goes, but there is the Carl and Ellie poster or puzzle um, that I picked up. So they're two sided puzzle there. All right, so let's go to pins. So I went pin shopping a lot. Um, I know that uh, Chef's been collecting pins too, so I we I got some for both of us, and um, then he brought me back this pin. I joined thanks to him. I joined the. Uh, there was a D23 event that which I'm a D23 member, so I was gonna do it anyways. But he got me this pin for joining the Disney Plus service. It's the Disney Plus Founders Circle. It's hard to see there. Maybe hang on. It's a uh, Disney Plus Founders Circle. You can't read it, but that's what it says. So it's an incredible pin. I'm part of the Disney Plus Founders Circle. I paid for three years, and I think it ended yesterday. So if you if you're a D23 member and you did not get in. Um, they were selling a three-year membership to the Disney Plus service for $4 a month. So it was like $142 or something like that um, for three years of the Disney Plus service. At, and that equated to about $4 a month. So we got hooked up with that. Then I bought these pins. Um, I gave one of my – I bought this pin a long time ago, but then gave it away and during a giveaway. Wanted it back again. So I got this uh, Toy Story pin, Toy Story Land pin. Camera does not want to focus. So I got the Toy Story Land pin. I've already had it once, but I, I gave it away, so I wanted to get it again. Then Donna Jaworski gave us these pins. They're limited edition. And I think they're limited of. Um, let's take it off and see. They are a limited edition of 3,500, and they are Galaxy's Edge pins. I think it's Luke um, running with his. Come on. Focus, focus. I cannot believe that's not going to focus. Anyways, it's Luke running with his, uh, there he is. Galaxy's Edge says with a vehicle in the background. It's pretty cool too because this is actually like the gate, like this top part up here. This is actually what the gate looks like when you go into Galaxy's Edge. So and it's hard to see now that I backed it off. 
but um, that is what it looks like. The other one that goes with that, so she gave us that one. I went and got the other one, which is Kylo Ren, and it is the um, it's just Kylo Ren standing there like that. Uh, what's up, Disney Nerd Herders? Thanks so much for being here. 80 plus watching. Yeah, you guys are incredible. Um, absolutely incredible. Shannon T, thank you so much. It's Poe Dameron. Okay, so it's not it's not uh, Luke, it's Poe. And that makes sense because it's part of the newer movie. Um, so it's Poe Dameron. Um, and somebody says I missed it, Chef. 80 plus watching. Touring the Galaxy, what's up, guys? Appreciate you being here. I showed those uh, Donald ears that... Uh, that uh, the Donald feet ears. Um, the, souvenir, the best souvenir is my gold belt. We'll get to that in a minute. And John from touring the galaxy was pretty, uh, pretty impressive during that. We'll get to that in a minute. Tracy Gagliano. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't think I missed anybody else. So if I did guys, just keep posting. I'll catch you. Then I wanted some more uh, Galaxy's Edge pins, so I found these limited release pins. The first one here is BB-8, and it's got a little Millennium Falcon pin on pin on it. So it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Landing 2019. This again, this little, this one is a pin on a small pin on top of the pin. Sorry, it's shaky. I'm still recovering. Then this one is another limited release, same kind of concept. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Landing pin. It's a slider pin. Oops, way over here. This. Millennium Falcon slides back and forth. So I got that. Then we walked in and I saw these pins, which I, I wish I'd seen these earlier. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm always halfway through the year and I haven't seen these and I haven't got them yet. But there's a pin of the month series, limited edition pins. They are called Magic of Honor pins. Um, and they are limited edition of 2,000 pins. So the first one I got here, and I don't know what month is what here. Does it say on the back of it? Let me see. Hang on. It says it does not. So I found two different ones. They had a, this one they had everywhere, and it was Star Tours. So what they are is they're just like a little metal, little metal of honor here, whatever, Valor. And then when you hold it up, you can see it's Star Tours there. So they had this one. And then I went to another store. One store I found in entire Disney World had a different one, and it was this one, and it's Spaceship Earth. So oh, come on, focus. Okay, cover up Yoda. There we go. So there is the. Um, that's not going to focus at all. Hello. All right. Well, anyways, it's a deer in the middle of it. It says Spaceship Earth on it. Or it's a, not a deer. It's a. It's a. Looks like a Viking with deer antlers on his head. It's got. It's got the. Uh, the scientist lady with. Um, it doesn't look like a scientist on it that everybody made that everybody comments on. It's got the newspaper boy and it's got uh, the astronaut on it. So pretty cool pin. And I got two more pins and that'll end our stuff until the Beverly information. So I got to, had to get this one because my favorite show of all time is Illuminations and the it's going away. And this is the Illuminations pin, the farewell. Come on. The farewell to um, Illuminations. I cannot believe this thing is not going to focus. If I just put it right up on, there it goes. So Illuminations, Farewell 2019 Epcot World Showcase. That's a really cool pin. I like it. And then the last pin I got is Tina McNeil. Well, well, <laughs> welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, Steve, it was a Yoda magnet. Oh, I got it, Kat. You did give it to me. And I put it in my uh binder and i did not get it out i'm glad you reminded me about i need to write that down so i go grab it i definitely did get it you a magnet so i will go get that out and um here in a little bit i'm glad you reminded me about that and then heidi cook what's up nathan Rada, welcome in thank you guys for being here <clears throat> then the last one i got guys is this the Lion King pin. I just, I really love the new action, live action Lion King. This pin is pretty incredible, I think. There is the Lion King pin. It's got Rafiki holding up Simba. And I can't, sorry guys, I can't hold it steady. I'm, I'm drained. There it is. Pretty cool pin. So that's what I got, guys. That's pretty much all the stuff I got. Um, I'm sure there's other things I'm missing. Uh, I got some reusable bags. They're, they're starting to switch all the reusable bags now. Epcot bags, and it's got some some things on there. They're pretty cool bags. 
Then the other thing I got was we had the Beverly Challenge. So with the Beverly Challenge, the winner got to keep the belt. So if you can guess who won, I did. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, we also got cargo made shirts for the winners. And here's a shirt with the Mickey head. It's Bubble Mickey's. On the back is this, the Beverly Challenge. So now there is something about this because I actually have two shirts for the winner. And the reason why, I'll get to that in just one second. Here's the other one she made. So since day one, everybody's been kind of listening to me and Shep um, go back and forth as to how many Beverly's we were going to do. Everybody's talking about doing 10. Of course, we were up a lot higher than that. But since day one, we've had a pact, Shep and I did, that when we got to the end of the Beverly Challenge, if it was just me and him, we would go as far as we could go until one of us couldn't go any farther, and then we would stop drinking the Beverly and be tag team champions um, of the Beverly Challenge. And we were going to stop and do it. So we had two belt or two um, shirts, and along with that, I also got two belts. So... Um, if he made it that far, if we both made it that far, we were going to retire as tag team champions and have have it go. Shep gave a valiant effort. He made it to 20-something, I think. Um, second place, we got 26, so Shep wasn't that far off. Kyle's blog, what's up, buddy? Um, so, unfortunately, he didn't make it to second place. I would have stopped with him if we had made it that far so that we could have become uh, tag team champions of the Beverly challenge. And, uh, I, I, unfortunately he didn't make it. So I just kept going. So it came down to, believe it or not, it came down to three people. It was, uh, myself and Donna Jaworski and, uh, John from touring the galaxy and John, uh, made it to or Donna, I think made it to 23. I want to say, or we were doing 23 and she couldn't do anymore. I was feeling pretty good still. I wasn't having any problems whatsoever at that point in time. And, um, Donna was out of control. Yes. I, I was feeling very good. John, we got to 25. <clears throat> we did 25. John was looked like he was hurt. And I'm still, I have no problems whatsoever. Still at this point in time, very confident in what I was going to do. <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> Shep was hurting. The best part was though, is I looked over at Shep and he looked at me and he, I could tell he was hurting. And I just started shaking my head. And I said, don't do it. And he said, I've got to, <laughs> I said, buddy, don't do it. And he just was, he, I mean, he was looking right at me and I kept trying to get him to go. And he just, he couldn't do it. So he, he, I, I love him, but he just couldn't make it. I tried, but then yeah, Brandy and Dave actually finished fourth. Dave actually finished fourth after eating everything in sight around the world and drinking everything around inside around the world. Dave still went to the Beverly challenge and finished fourth. It was, it was pretty cool. The 20 was definitely rough. And guys, these aren't the two ounce cups. These were four ounce cups. So and we'll talk about that in just one second. But um, outside of that though, it came down to me and John, John got to 26. He did 26. He looked at me and he said, are you still good? And I started doing jumping jacks, which was mistake number one, by the way. Don't do not do jumping jacks and shake up your belly. Um, so that was mistake number one. I, I was doing jumping jacks. And then he looked, he grabbed the title from Preston. Preston was holding the belt. He uh, looked at it for a minute, handed it to me, and then I shook his hand. It was, pr it was pretty cool. After he was done, though, I wasn't done because I wanted to uh, keep going. So... Um, I wound up going all the way up from 26. I did up to 31. Then I said, this is going too slow. And then I made, I made a really bad mistake and drank three in a row really fast. 32, 33, and 34. Then things didn't start feeling good. Um, and then I, I started going, thinking about it. I was like, man, I want to do 40 of these things. But I, and I just didn't know where it was going. So... Uh, yeah, John did hand me the belt. He handed me the belt, shook my hand, and it was it was pretty classy. Mm -hmm. And we we drank. So basically, we got done with the Beverly. We got ready to go. I said, guys, I'm only going to do one more. I said, I don't. I, I can feel things starting to stir. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to do one more and be done. So they all came over. We all toasted one more. I waited for a minute. They all did their toast and drank. And then I walked in and finished my last one. I did 35. Turned the cup upside down. I was done. But when you when you do the math, I know everybody in terms of shots we talked about doing 60 shots um <clears throat> those were on two ounce glasses so the record was 57 on a two ounce glass we checked with epcot and checked with the people the, the same glass that they were using in the, another one was a two ounce glass so we did 57 two ounce shots for 114 ounces we did 35 i did 35 four ounce shots for a total of 140 ounces 
So I did uh, 26 more ounces than the previous record holder did, um, which equated to 1.091 gallons of Beverly. I drank over a gallon of Beverly and, you know, <laughs> and then I drank uh, more than two, two liters too. So it was, it was over four liters of pop. Um, it was fun. And like, and like Shep put in there, hashtag all the side effects. There were many and I had all but like four of them. And it was not, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, yes, I did. I, we didn't, I did beat the record. And Meg, when you said 61, I actually did beat that record because those were 61 two ounce shots. I did 72 ounce shots basically. Um, so if you put it in perspective of the old record, the guy that did his shots, I, I did the equivalent of 70. He did 57. Um, but so what were the side effects, Rob? The side effects were, Oh man, let me look them up real quick here. Cause it was, they're pretty intense actually. Um, and it, it, it varies. There was one specific site that I really loved that had it on there. Uh, I want to see if it was this one. Okay, so here's your side effects of quinine. Nausea, stomach cramps, diarrhea, vomiting, ringing in the ears, confusion, and nervousness. However, these are the more common side effects. More serious potential side effects include bleeding problems, kidney damage, abnormal heartbeat, and severe allergic reaction. Like I said, I had almost all of those. Um, it was Charlotte past hour. What's up? Thank you so much. Yes, we did it for charity and we raised over $10,000 for charity, which is pretty incredible. And if, if my mods could still go ahead and post the, the link to um, the, um, if my mods could post the link to the give kids the world thing, Rob, I'm not going to go into which ones I had and didn't have, but uh, Shep knows which ones I had. Cause I was telling him, I was like, he was kidding. Shep was nice enough to make sure I was okay. I, I um, it was, it was pretty, pretty, pretty nice of him to make sure that I was, because I'll be honest with you, it hurt, it hurt real bad. So, but uh, if my link, or my mods could post the link to the Give Kids the World site, we're still open. Um, I, I, I was pretty much out for the night, Rob, but I still, I, I just had to make a lot of bathroom breaks. Um, yeah, and I don't know if I have kidney damage yet, we'll see. Uh, I do, I, I was fine for a long time, Rob, I was fine. But then when it, the, I don't want to get too gross because it, it's kind of gross, but um, I just had to visit the bathroom a lot and uh, I, I, I'm okay. Yeah, I was fine. It just, I had, I did have stomach cramps, believe it or not. I was dizzy during the, during the event. Um, I didn't think I was confused, but we can, we made fun of it being confused and some not really nervousness by any means, but, um, uh, there was some, there were some pretty, pretty severe side effects. So you'll donate a kidney Andrew, <laughs> but, uh, but it was fun guys. And we donated, like I said, we donated over $10,000 for the give kids the world. There's the link. LSU mom. Thank you so much for putting that in there. Um, there was a lot of sugar. There were some sugar spikes on some people. Um, it was, uh, did I have a Beverly hangover? Not really. It, I, I will say this though, due to the side effects. Thanks, Shep. I appreciate it, buddy. Do the side effects. Um, it it was it was miserable. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It was miserable. I couldn't walk ten feet when we when when we got ready to leave the park, which was several. It, it took some time to to wear some effects on me, but um, it 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 was it was intense. And you guys find out more about that on Monday. I'm sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> the janitor that had to work those bathrooms that night deserves sainthood. <laughs> Oh, wow. So guys, if you want to still help, you can either, there's two ways you can help. One is if, if you can't find help financially, just share out that link, the, the give kids the world link. Um, it, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. We, like I said, we raised over $10,000 for them. According to give kids the world, that was pretty impressive. They, they don't get, unless you're just a monster, monster event, they don't get events like that that raise that much money. They also said a lot of times when people do these events, they back out of them or they don't even raise a thousand dollars. We raised over ten thousand dollars for them with the help of Resort TV One and everybody that was involved. Um, it was incredible, really, really good. Um, yeah, so a legal pour of liquid is a drink of one point five ounces. A double shot is two point five to three ounces liquid. We were filling them to the brim at four ounces. Um, and Pepper Tree Villa, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for being here. Um, but that's it guys. So that's, that's pretty much the, the hall and the small little recap I'm going to do. Um, Meg will not be going live tonight as she is on a plane on her way back, 
Michelle Obert, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. We still have 90 people in here. Um, but would I do it again? Absolutely, Rob. Absolutely. Um, like I said, I did 35. Second place only did 26. Only 26 was a lot of Beverly to do. I, I, I think I could have gotten to 40 of those four ounce shots had I not done two things. One, do jumping jacks. Don't do that. You can literally feel your stomach expand it, when you're doing this. And then also don't down three of them at one time. You got to take that one minute break. <clears throat> John surprised me. He did. He really did. So, um, and I'll be sending him that other shirt too. So, uh, for that. And oh, and Meg did these. Uh, there's so much. We had, we got everything cut so short that I, I've got a couple things here to send out for people that people gave me that I did not get sent out, unfortunately. But our day, our vacation was cut two days short. And we just had to, to figure it out. Meg made these ears though, these nice white ears with the bow. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pass them around to all the people that were involved in the Beverly um, and have everybody sign them. And then we're going to auction these off for, for our next auction for Give Kids the World. So, but guys, that's really, I think that's all I got. So uh, also don't eat your way around the world. Yeah. Dave, Dave made a big mistake. That was, that's another mistake. Dave ate a lot of stuff. I mean, like a lot of stuff. I didn't think he was going to compete in the Beverly. He actually Shep finished fifth and he finished fourth. Um, I, I was I was impressed by Dave being able to do it that. So, but uh, the, Dave finished. What did you finish at, Dave? Twenty two, something like that. I think maybe twenty three. I think Donna finished at twenty three or twenty four. And Pam has a question. What is Pam's question? I missed it. Sorry, guys. Uh, Pam. Uh, Pam, that's not a question. Oh, and Pam, yes, I forgot about that. Pam is going to do a drawing for the the winner. Do I have a choice? Um, I mean, if you can draw a scene from Tangled, that would be awesome uh, with Flynn Rider in it. That would, you know, I love Flynn, so I would be very appreciative if you did that. Um, but that's it, guys. So, so Dave did 23. Donna did, I think Donna did 24. Mm, John did 26, and I did 35. So... First people out, believe it or not, Dev and Corey did 11 each. Um, they they worked hard to get to that 11. So everybody between that went from 11 to 26, and then um, then I did 26 or then I did a 35. So which again was was a lot. So see you, buddy. Um, yeah, got to go tend to Abe. Abe is uh, Abe's awesome. But have a good night, buddy. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap it up um, with that as well. Want to thank Dean over at the Live Place. www.dundo www.thelifeplace.com, Dreamers Empire and The Life Place on YouTube. Make sure you go check him out. He hosts our show along with over 65 other shows. Incredible, incredible um, uh, person. And he just does a lot of work for us. I uh, hope you can meet the, the Dismeet and Noble. Yeah. So I, I'm actually thinking about uh, heading out to meet some people um, in, uh, during that weekend. I'm not sure which way I'm going, but I'm, I'm probably going one way or the other. So um, I doubt if I'm going to be available, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I want to thank my partner channels. Mouse Talk uh, goes live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock and Sports Night with me at 8 o'clock on Saturdays. Rob Fuzz, my other partner channel, goes live every Friday at 4 to 4.30, uh, 4 or 4.30 with either Pub Talk or um, Frankie Friday. And Rob's fresh off a of vacation back. He's actually off two vacations, I think. One was a one he was in Spain, I know for the other one I can't remember where he was at, but he's he should be back at it. I think this um, I'll be live this week. Pat, thanks. Okay, so Rob will be live this week, um, but uh, yeah, so he'll be watching for him either four or four thirty on Friday. Um, Kelly and Myers the Mouse, please get home safe. And then the guys, my power channels, my brothers and my partners in crime, just incredible people. We we hung out all week for when we were there. It was so sad to cut it short. We love each other so much, but. Oh, uh, I'm not Steve, but I'll take it. Zip. What's up, Patrick? Thank you so much for being here, buddy. But um, you you can be late. He's during a he was doing a football uh, draft. Got to meet, of course, uh, Zip and PJ and his wife. Zip and his wife and PJ, and they were an incredible family as well. We hung out for several four days, I think, before the rest of them got there. So, but anyways, guys, Power Channels, the Shep family, Zippity Doodad, Brandy and Dave, all great people. Make sure you go check them all out. Um, and also Disney Dan, my other power channel, who I met Disney Dan as well. We'll talk about all that on Friday. I don't want to give away too much today. Uh, other than that, guys, you guys are incredible. I've got 84 people in here. Thank you all so much for the super chats earlier. Um, 
I, I just can't thank you guys enough. We can't do this without you. Um, again, 86 people. We're starting to get some other people in here because we got five dislikes tonight. So that's that's a new record for us. So pretty impressive. But uh, as long as people are coming and, and interacting, I don't care which way they give us thumbs for. So, um, guys, thank you so much. And uh, don't forget on Wednesday, 9 o'clock on Zippity Doo Dad's channel to go check out our trip recap for uh, this and that. So, um, guys, I appreciate everything. Love you all so much. Until next time, we will uh, see you. Thanks, guys.